the Lord claims to be his holy word. One book there is everything you need to know about God, about his promises, about judgment. The word of God. And today I share with you this particular passage with great wisdom and understanding, knowing that it is the perfect word of God that can only change your soul. How many of us have really went to people and talked, poured our heart out to people, hoping that they would just hear and understand who you are, where you are, and still walk away feeling that it wasn't done. Mm -hmm. It wasn't done right. They don't hear me. I'm crying out. I can't get them to talk. And then I was too afraid to even talk about it what was really going on in my life. The feelings didn't match what I know. It was different. But then you look to God's word. Look into God's word, you find understanding. You find peace. You find direction. You find that there is hope. Well, my brothers and sisters, I say to you this morning that the word of God is true. Out of all the information that you can have in your life, the Word of God is the one that you can live by. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Give an honor to God first and foremost, to all of our ministers, to our deacons, to the ushers, to the body of Christ. We thank God for this opportunity to embrace God's Word. We're going to look at Matthew chapter 4 shortly, but. I want to talk about this psalmist. The psalmist fully understands that the word of God is perfect, that it's trustworthy, it's right, it's pure, it's reliable, it's rewarding. That word, he says, revives the soul. It makes the inexperienced person a wise person. If they obey, it makes the heart glad, it enlightens the eyes, it warns God's servants about where they are and the dangers that are there. Living according to the scriptures enables you and I to keep our way pure. Only the word of God. The devil does not like the word God. In fact, <laughs> he'll sell you to lie. He'll have you thinking that the word of God is church, something the church people do, something the church people say. But I come out here today to tell you that the word of God is life. The word of God is everything. If you don't take the time out to read the word, how can you be prepared for what's coming? How can you be secure in your own self about what's happening? You don't know. Some people think the word is outdated. But I come to tell you, there's some things that are written in this book that ain't happened yet that's going to happen right in front of you. There are some things that have already happened that testify to who God is, his goodness, his purpose for each of our lives. I'm a living witness today that every time that you think things are well, death can show up. Yes, sir. Hurt can show up. Mm -hmm. People fail on their promises. They tell you one thing, they do something else. Some of us have stood waiting on the right thing to happen. And we looked to the person, we went to the person, we believed in the person that they could do exactly what they said they could do. And they came up short. Because they came up short, you said to yourself, I won't believe. Like how they said I should believe. But I come by here today to tell you that the word of God stands when they don't stand. Right is always right. No matter who tell it. The devil can tell you part 
of the good thing about the Word of God, and it throws some shade on it. Yeah. To make every person in here feel that there is a possibility that this may not happen. Don't you know that everything that God speaks come true? Yeah. Yes. That his word does not return to him void. And if you believe in the word of the Lord, you shall have what it says that you should have. Yes. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Yes. We're experiencing this in this season where we're seeing God flicking flowers from his garden. And it hurts because he didn't ask you first. But he tells us, he said, my word. This is who I am. I'm God. There is none like God. There's none like him. Solomon said the law of the Lord is perfect, converted the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Have you allowed the word to come into your heart so that your soul could be converted? Are you still trying to keep up with your mind what God is doing? What the Bible tells me, the way God works, the way we think, we don't come up high enough. How can you know the mind of God without knowing his word? How can you speak life into anything not knowing that the word is life? I want to encourage my children in their walk. But if they don't know Jesus, they're not going to understand what I'm telling them. And the thing is, I'll die. I'll die while they're still struggling in life. And they'll be like, my daddy is not here for me. Where is my daddy? Truth be told, when mama and daddy is gone, the word is still here. Leading and guiding us in righteousness. So I can make it when mama's gone. I can make it when daddy's gone because God's word is still present. It's still relevant. It's still true. You got grown folk. You got grown folk who acted like they lost but have not spent time in the Word. Yeah, yeah. The Word should not return to God's born. What happens if you believe in what God says in His Word? Brothers, if you believe in what God says in His Word, then you'll see. That the word testifies of God. Yeah, yeah. And is sure. Yes, sir. The word doesn't fail. Can I get a witness? I want to say this to you because prophecy will fail. All right. There's people that will speak some things and the things that they say may not come true. But everything that is written in the Bible. Yeah. Everything yeah. that is founded yeah. in God's word. I'm not talking about variations. I'm not talking about your, your interpretation. I'm talking about what God says yeah. in his word. It will come to pass. That's why it's so important for me to make sure I say what God says. Amen. Because if I'm not saying what God said, it's going to fall. Mm -hmm. It's going to fail. It's going to come up short. Yeah. But whatever God said, that's what's going to happen. Yes, you don't know your word. You don't know your word. That's why you still talk back to your mama and your daddy. You don't know your word. That's why you commit adultery. You don't know your word. That's, that's why you come in to the Lord's house and, and leave here as if you missed something mm. from God. Was yeah, here. come on, come on. Speaking his word. Come on. You thought it was a preacher. It wasn't a preacher. It was the word of God. Yeah. The word shall not return void. If you happen to believe in the word of God, not only will you be warned and know what is happening and what is going on, you will be tried. Yeah, yeah. And you'll pass the test. Amen. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Yeah, yeah. When sorrow comes and knock on your heart, when sorrow comes and penetrate your happiness, you have to know it's only for a night. Yeah, yeah. 
Because God said it in his word. And stop dragging your nights into weeks. Come on. Come on. That it's taking so long. God said we've been made do it for a night. That means don't let this night drag on to tomorrow. Come on. Don't let it be a month away and you're still crying as if you have no hope. Yeah. Hope is founded in God. That's it. It's founded in his word. I'm so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so, so tired of seeing grown folk lost. Because they don't read their word. Mm. You come into the church with your Bible in your hand. <laughs> yeah. mm. But you ain't telling me nothing about the book. Yeah. Mm. You had work talking about how good God is. But you still don't know what's in the book. Yeah. You at school telling folk that you went to church on Sunday and the choir saying, I can't show them nothing in the book. Mm. Come on. If you don't know the word of God, then you're not prepared for what's going to happen next yeah, yeah, in your life. Yeah. And you will find yourself doubting God, not because his word is not true, but because you did not believe in his word. Yes, sir. I'm speaking these things, knowing that God not only will hold me accountable, but also that they are true. God's testimony is sure. Every word in this book is God's testimony. Yes, sir. It speaks of him. It speaks of who he is. How would I know that he gave his only begotten son if it was not written? Mm. How would I know? How would I know that, that he died for my sin if it was not written? <laughs> How would I know? Yeah. Can I take the word of another man? Mm. God has taken it out of the hands of man. He's placed it in his holy mind. He said, this is for you. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every word is for your life. Yes, sir. Every word will help you and equip you to do the thing that I have called you. Amen. Every good word Amen. arises from Amen. this book. Yes, sir. Some of us don't even have a Bible. Preacher, what are you saying, Pastor? Now, verse 8 said, the statutes of the Lord are right. Yes, sir. Rejoicing in the heart. Mm -hmm. The word of God gives me joy. Yes, sir. Not because I was right, but because he's right. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you believe God is watching over you? Amen. Yeah. You know that God is watching over you? You need to make sure that he finds you doing his word. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Because his judgment is sure. The wages of sin is what? Yeah. Death. Death is always around. You know why? Because sin is around. If there was no sin, there'd be no death. So you, as a believer, need to make sure that there is no sin in you. Amen. Because if there's sin in you, there's death in you. How do I deal with my sin? you got to confess it. Amen. And ask God Amen. to forgive you. Yes. And he will remove death out of your life. Amen. Amen. But we all are supposed to die. That's what the scripture said. We all appointed to die. Yeah. There is an appointment set for us to leave mm -hmm. here because sin is here. Amen. Do you know? Do you know that God has prepared a place for us? A place where sin can't enter? And those that are sinful can't enter either. Amen. Yeah. Do you know that God has reserved a right for you to be there? Yes, if you believe in his word. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord all by myself. Come on. He has given his statutes. These words are great for my heart. It causes my heart to rejoice. Yes, sir. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The reason why I know is because God said so. Mm -hmm. So God has given me the ability to see what the world cannot reveal. Amen. That is his perfect will yeah. through his son, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Fear of the Lord is clean. It is that if I know that God's word is true and I fear God, and I do the right thing, there's no sin found in me. Yeah. Right. Many of us are struggling in our walk because sin keeps showing up. 
Preach, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Turn to Matthew chapter 4. Thank you, Lord. chapter 4. You want to see how the Word of God works. So then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. When he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungry. When the temper came to him, he said that thou, thee, the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. And he answered and said, It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. <laughs> but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes, then the devil taken him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle in the temple. And said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thy foot, thou dash thy foot against the stone. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered unto him, it is written again that thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Yeah. And again, the devil taking him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things I will give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. <clears throat> then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, yeah. for it is written, <laughs> Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Yeah. And then the devil leaveth him, and behold, the angels came and ministered unto him. If you want to get the devil off of your track, you need to know and speak what is written in God's word. It's not about your imagination. It's about what God has said. It's not about how comfortable you are with yourself. It's about what God said. Every Amen. instance Amen. that Satan put in Jesus' path, there was an answer yes. written in the book. Yes. And those words is how you deal with the oh, enemy. Amen. Those Amen. words Come is on. how you begin to pull your life into focus. Right. Those on. words are what you use in order to make sure you know what God expects from you yes. no matter yes. what that. comes in your life. It is written. Yeah. And I speak to you as a brother in Christ and encouraging you to take time in the book. Come on, Pastor. Because if you don't know what is written, yeah, then yeah. you'll say what is on your all mind. Alright, alright, alright. Everything that's on your mind, Come on. don't reach up to the wisdom of God. But reach, if you begin reach, to know reach. what God speaks to the those that believe in him, then you will say yeah. it is written. written. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Pastor. You can't do what you want to do. All right. This is not your world. This is my world. But God come on, says, come on. it is written that I can do all things Jesus through Christ. Christ. Come on, That's Pastor. Come on, Pastor. You have to know what's in the book. Preach it. Come on. These words I've shared with you just to draw a focus. There's no greater example than Jesus Christ. Right. And every response he referred, it is written. written. Yes. 
Do you know what is written in, the book. in your Bible? Amen. Oh, Amen. Do you know this has never been about you? It's never been about your imagination. It's never been about you being comfortable. Can you witness? It's always been about the word of God. Uh -huh. John starts off like this. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. I want you to know that there's nothing that is here that is outside of the word of God. Amen. Everything amen. that you see come on. was the word of God ah. made manifest. Come on, come on. Can you get a yeah. Heaven and earth was prepared by God. Said, God said. said, Yeah. Let there be. Let there be. It was God that spoke, and if you allow God's word to be in your mouth, uh -huh. he even the devil himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But thus says the Lord. Yes, Lord. I believe that there's power in the house. Yes. If you know the word of God. Come on. I get sick every once in a while. Come on, come on. But I know I am sick to my Yeah, 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 yeah. God, by his grace, I am healed. Yeah. It is written. Preach, preach. It's God's word. Preach. This is not the last day. It's not. Come on. If you're going to be healed, you got to know what the word of God says. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Come on. The word of God has been given to us. Yeah. Yeah. For every good work. To equip us, to empower us, to correct us. See, this has never been personal. This, this is how I can love you when you don't love me. Because God said that I gotta love you, my enemy. Yeah. It is written. Yeah, it is written. You want to switch sides on me. Can I get away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. I'm gonna love you anyhow. Come on. I'm gonna love you as my brother. I'm gonna love you as my enemy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna love you as my sister. Yes, I'm gonna love you as my enemy. All right. Because the Lord said it is written. Yes. Yes, sir. I must love. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness? Love, yeah, love. And you know how your feelings. And, and, and I, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Because you and your feelings thinking, thinking that your looks make a difference in what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Or the life that I'm gonna live. Can I get a witness? All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I know, I know, I know that looks work. Because my mama used to put a look on me that would make me stop what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Until I learned how to do right. Amen. Amen. When you're doing right, you can look back at me. Uh -huh. And let me know that I'm covered. Yeah. By the blood. Amen. Amen. Good work. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> But I speak these words to you, encouraging you in your faith. If you only read your Bible every once in a while, you're not ready for today. Until you can say it is written. Mm -hmm. This is not personal. The word of God is what saves. Jesus Christ came not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So there's no condemnation on you except you don't believe. Mm. If you don't believe, you are condemned already. Right. Yes, These are not my words, it's God's words. Yes, so there's no reason, reason for you to be upset with me because I tell you that, that you're condemned for not believing in God. Amen, yeah. Because it says so in the word. Yeah. And you believing in God has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you. Yeah, yeah. Your faith. Or the lack thereof. Yes, For those that believe in him should not perish. Amen. But shall have them a lasting life. Uh, yeah, amen. Don't get upset with me because when I say when I walk on the streets of gold. Don't get upset with me when I tell you when I enter into yeah. the gates of heaven. Yeah. Don't get upset with me when I tell you. Yeah. One of these old mornings. Yeah. You don't look for me and I'm gone. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. You ain't got no heaven to heaven to put nobody in. Amen. You ought to be trying to get there yourself. Amen. Amen. Close right now. Why don't you stand on your feet?